Hey guys, it's Trina, and today I am doing the makeup book tag. I was tagged to do this by Brandon the Book Addict, and this tag was originally created by a YouTuber called Beth Ann, but she has either deleted her channel or deleted the video. But I'm actually going to be using the questions that were added to this tag by Sarah Without an H, so I'll put a link to her channel and to Brandon's down below. The gist of this tag is that I'll be doing my makeup, and for each like type of makeup that I use, there's a question that correlates. I think it's going to be pretty awkward to try to talk while doing my makeup, so I'm actually just going to film myself putting the makeup on and then do a voiceover with all the book questions, and I'll show you guys like the products I use too, although I don't use like the best stuff. I'm pretty amateur, so just take note of that. So let's get moved in to my bathroom where I normally put my makeup on. This tag starts with primer. Usually I don't use like a separate primer product. I usually just make sure that my face is clean and moisturized. And the question that goes along with primer is pick a book that left a lasting impression. For this I'm going with A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness because this book really hit home for me. It kind of reflected parts of my childhood and left a very lasting impression on me. And the question for foundation is pick your favorite first book in a series. And I decided to go with Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I really consider that concept and the exploration of a world like that to be one of my, you know, all-time favorite dystopians but I didn't, you know, like everything about the rest of that series. But it did have a wonderful foundation in that first book. Next up is concealer and I usually at this point also apply my eyeshadow primer. The question for concealer is pick a character you wish you could get rid of. And right now I am reading my way through the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series and I wish I could erase the character of Kostos. He has barely any page time and yet so much of the character Lena's story is wrapped up in him and I just want to erase him for powder, but I just pat it onto my face and then let it sit there while I continue with the rest of my makeup. But for the question for powder, it is pick your favorite last book in a series. Probably Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the last book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. That book hit me in the feels and it took me a long time to recover from it. Next I move on to my eyebrows. The question for eyebrows is a book you think everyone should read. I think this is a question Sarah added because she was like everyone has to do their eyebrows. So a book I think everyone should read? I think I'm just gonna be basic and go with Harry Potter. And it's okay if you haven't read it. I know a lot of people still haven't read it. That's totally okay. I'm just... I don't really think there should be a blanket statement on any book that everybody ever has to read it. So I'm just going with a kind of a cop-out answer for that one. Harry Potter. Then we're moving on to eyeshadow. The book question that goes along with eyeshadow is pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. And I'm going to go with the book Unblemished by Sarah Ella because it has a beautiful purple cover and I love the color purple. I think it's a great cover. I love the color so I'm just going to go with that. Then for eyeliner, I actually don't usually use a separate eyeliner product. I'm just using that matte black color from the Naked 2 palette and going in with a very small detail brush and lining the tops of my eyes and a little bit along the bottom lashes. And the question for eyeliner is pick a dark and mysterious book. I'm trying to think of books that I've read this year that I would consider dark and mysterious as well as good. And I think I'm just going to go with the Mara Dyer trilogy for this one. I think I read the last two books at the very beginning of this year, and uh, they are definitely dark and mysterious. At this point is when I actually go back in and knock off all of that translucent powder that I set my face with earlier. I'm just using this little pink kabuki brush from Coastal Scents. Then it's time to move on to lashes, and the question that goes along with this is mascara. Pick a long book. I checked on Goodreads and the longest book that I have recorded on Goodreads was A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin, which clocks in at 1,177 pages. And this tag actually does not have a question for contouring. If I'm having to make up a question for contouring, I would go with, because contouring is there to add depth and dimension to your face, I would go with pick a book that you felt had deep meaning. I didn't come prepared to this question, but the book that is coming to my mind off the top of my head that I recently read and I got a lot of deeper meaning out of it was A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I know a lot of people hate this book, but for me, I got a lot of personal depth out of the character of 
of Thera and some of the things that she is going through in this book and it just really like connected with me on a deep level so I'm gonna go with A Court of Miss and Fury. And the question for Blush is pick a romance that made you cringe and the most cringy romance I can think of was from City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. This situation really made me cringe. Then for highlighter, I don't have a specific highlighting product. I actually just use an eyeshadow. I do not have the right brushes for the things I use, I know that. The question for highlighter is pick a book that brightened your day. Most recently, I read In Real Life by Jessica Love. It put a huge smile on my face. It really surprised me. I loved that book. Lastly, it's on to lipstick. And the book question that goes along with lipstick is what was your favorite book kiss? And recently, the book kiss that kind of stood out to me the most was the kiss in the book Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. It put a huge smile on my face and I, could not stop gushing about it for a little while after I read that book. So I really enjoyed that one. It was really cute. All right, that is it. That is the normal type of makeup look that I do for filming a video. But on a normal day, I don't always do all of those steps. I don't always do the brows or the highlight or the contour. And when I'm just home all day, I'm not wearing makeup at all. But that is a typical look for videos. I didn't realize how many makeup products I actually use until I made this video and I know that I don't use like the best brands and whatever. If you're curious in the products that I did use, I wrote them all out in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you Brandon for tagging me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!